All right, what's up everyone? Trevor here, and let's talk about being an athlete for life. That's my whole philosophy of my coaching, whether it's training, nutrition, sleep, just building healthy habits, that mindset, the recovery, everything that plays a role, all these little pieces of building an athlete for life. And as we get older, yes, it's the best to start young. That's why I like working with kids and getting them building these habits of moving their body, of eating better, of prioritizing sleep, of just making sure exercise and training is fun. Uh, that's a huge role. But as we get older, people complain, oh, they, you're sitting there. The Super Bowl is, so you're watching the Super Bowl that's coming up um, on Sunday, uh, I guess, depending on whether you're watching this video. So um, coming up on this Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday, and you're sitting there watching all these athletes. You see how fast you see Pacheco, Pacheco, and how fast he is, how hard he runs, and all these uh, skill players, wide receivers, even Mahomes, all his agility and weaving in and out of the pocket. Uh, and Purdy, even when he's scrambling, you see McCaffrey's a freak, just can bust through that hole and he can fly um, super fast. And you think, oh man, I, I was once, you're sitting back there eating another potato chip, down on another chicken wing, uh, sitting there in your recliner on your couch, and you're sitting there thinking back, oh man, I used to be athletic, I used to be able to do this, I was fast, I could I could outrun them. If I if I only had the uh, the the opportunities I would be playing in the NFL. Or I've been in the MLB or whatever it is. Whenever you're watching sports, we all sit back and think and dream about the glory days and, and talking about what would have or what could have or what was. And it's living in the past. And there's nothing wrong with reminiscing and, and going back and, and reliving your glory days and all the things that and remembering the good times of playing sports or growing up or the the uh, traditions that we had in, in family life, whether it's holidays or whatever, or just the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, not the lineage, but the, our, I don't even, I can't even think of it. I guess the, the history, our, our tradition, that type of thing. But there's nothing wrong with that. But it, a lot of, uh, us, I used to be guilty of this too. Of we just are so stuck in the past, and we only care about, or only worry about what was or what could have been, and then you have that regret, that doubt, and then you let that fade into your build into your current life, and why you're not athletic anymore, why you can't do anything. You you see these games, you see these athletes, and you think, oh yeah, I was I was that good at one point. Um, when, uh. Or if I or you blame it on the genetics and things like that, you see like a, a McCaffrey or a Mahomes, and you think, oh man, I, w I could be that good. I mean, look at the guy. Um, but no, the truth is, no, you couldn't. Um, the you, and there's nothing wrong with that either. Uh, it's being realistic, and it's it's that daydreaming and living in the being stuck in the past, and you're letting that get into right now, at, where. Sure, you may not, you're not able to be that. Those are the 1% of the 1%. Those freaks in the NFL, the NBA, the MLB. And there's nothing wrong with not being that great. Um, but you can still be athletic. The problem is you complain about, and you're doing this complaining, while the only exercise you're getting is curling another can of beer or curling that the next chip into your mouth. And that's all the exercise you're getting. That's all. That's the most athletic thing you do is getting up to get another beer from the fridge. When it when you should really be training still, you should be exercising. You should be training and moving like an athlete. When you want, you you have all these dreams of oh yeah, I still want to be able to do the things. And I want to be able to jump into a pickup game and play ball with my buddies. I want to be able to play softball on the weekends or go play pickleball with the, the people all my friends or heck maybe most important your kid comes up to you 
and they say, hey, dad, hey, mom, I want to go play catch in the backyard. Can you go play tag with me? Can you take me to the park and play on the playground? But you just say, I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm too old for that. I'm too sore. I can't move like that anymore. And that is a bunch of crap. That is your fault. That is what is wrong with people these days. You blame it on all this other stuff and your age. Uh, you're too sore. You can't do anything anymore. You're injured or your body aches. That is a bunch of crap. That is your responsibility, especially when it comes to your kids. If you've got kids or grandkids, you should take responsibility as a mom, a dad, a grandpa, a grandma, an uncle, an aunt, a cousin, a brother, a sister, to set a good example of health and be a healthy role model for your family, for your friends, and be an athlete for life so you can continue to do these things. When your kid comes up and says, hey, I want to go play catch, I want to go play football, I want to go to the park, and you should just be ready to go and do that when they ask and be willing and able and want to do that. And I'm sure, yeah, you probably want to do it, but you're just too stuck in your old ways that you can't do that. And you think that you're just too old uh, to be athletic and do athletic things. You think that's just part of coming with old age is not being able to do any of this stuff. But the reason you can't do it is because you stopped doing it when you're, what, 12, 15 years old. It's probably the last time you sprinted, last time you jumped, last time you did anything athletic. Sure, maybe you tried some uh, spin classes or some group training classes. That crap is not athletic. Yeah, it's good if you do that stuff. There's nothing wrong with that. But you need to start doing athletic stuff to be an athlete for life. You need to throw. You need to jump. You need to hop, skip, roll, crawl, tumble, sprint. Uh, lift, move, that's the basics. And the fact is that it's not your age, it's not your aches and pains, it's not your injury history that is holding you back. It is you and your mindset. You can still do this stuff. You should still be doing all these things, especially if you want to be able to move still. You want to be able to be a little athletic. You don't have to be Usain Bolt or LeBron James or uh, Christian McCaffrey or uh, Patrick Mahomes to be able to go out and play catch with your son or daughter to go up uh, uh, chase your grandkids around you just need to be you and be an athlete for life and that is being realistic not being stuck in the past not being stuck in these stupid ways of destroying your body with all the junk food and sitting on the couch all the time and no exercise whatsoever. Yes, you need time to sit and relax and watch the Super Bowl and enjoy good quality food and stuff like that. But it doesn't mean drinking and eating chips and junk food all the time. It means eating good quality food, relaxing, resting. And most importantly for movement and being athletic is moving and being athletic and doing these things. But be realistic with where you're at. You don't have to start right into the sprinting uh, 50, 100 meters or trying to run a 40-yard dash if you haven't run a 40-yard dash in 20 years. Start with where you're at. Start slow, progress into it, and continue to do it for a long time, forever. Uh, if you want to get faster as you get older, sprint. Start small, build where you are, and sprint often. Sprint for a long time. And when I mean a long time, I don't mean every session. You need to sprint for three minutes because you can't sprint for three minutes. Heck, you can't probably sprint for two seconds if you haven't done it in 20 years. So, and I don't mean sprint as you have to be fast. Sprint just means you got to go your fastest. You got to move fast. And that goes for any exercise, any movement, these athletic movements. You can do them. Be realistic, again, where you're at and build on that. But you have to do them for a long time. You want to jump higher or farther or be able to jump better? You have to jump more often and you have to do it for a long time. And I'm talking about the years, the days, the months, the weeks, into the years, forever. You have to do this stuff to be an athlete for life. You, you stopped, but it's time to stop worrying about that you stopped. You can always start again and build and never stop for the next time. And keep doing it. Keep building. 
That's sprinting. That's jumping. That's crawling. That's somersaults. Cartwheels. Rolling. Climbing. Hanging. Skipping. Hopping. Um, balancing on one leg. All these different things. These are parts of being an athlete for life. Uh, and doing them, um, doing them often. Never stop moving. Using movement as medicine. And that's what's really going to help you build off and be able to do the things in life you love. Because life throws a lot of things at them. And it's not just the kids and playing with the kids. Yes, that's very important. If you have sons or daughters, grandkids, nieces, nephews, little cousins, whatever it is, uh, that's all. you should want to be able to play with them. You should, you don't want, no one wants that, that uh, mom or dad who can't do anything to be that mom or dad or can't do anything. Look at, look at the look on your kid's face when they see that, when you're not able to um, play with them because you're so banged up and injured and aches and pains or, or out of breath coming up the stairs. I remember all the time my parents would play with me growing up. My dad, I mean, until uh, he'd try to beat me and try to be better than me and wouldn't let me win, and that's what it's about. Or I remember playing kickball with grandma and grandpa and grandma would catch a ball and trip and fall and everyone would be concerned, but she'd pop right back up and I'll be ready to, to throw the next pitch or whatever position she was playing. Uh, so that's what it's all about. That's about that's what life, that's what being an athlete for life is. And I know like my mom now, she chases the kids around. And she's able to train so she can chase my sister's kids around and be able to take care of them. And that's truly what it's all about being an athlete for life, whether you got kids or grandkids or I'm an uncle. So I want to be able to chase Bentley and Mackenzie and Weston around and do all things and keep up with them on sports and show them how to be a good role model for them. And that's what ultimately a athlete for life is. And whether you got kids or relatives or whoever it is, and more importantly for you, and it could just be even selfish ways that you just want to, be able to, as I mentioned before, go play pickleball or me play baseball in the summers and still be able to do that without worrying about blowing out a, a hamstring or calf or, I mean, all these things happen, but I'm not worried. I don't care if I get injured. If I get injured, I get injured. That's part of it. Um, or go play pickleball and reduce the risk. You can't prevent injuries, um, but you're going to reduce the risk. You're going to feel better moving your, your achy knees, your achy low back your shoulder problems, they're going to be mitigated and probably reduced or if not go away altogether once you start training like an athlete and doing these athletic things. Again, I can't guarantee that everything is going to go away because you've compounded all this sitting, this eating junk food, this not sleeping, um, not moving, not exercising with Years and years and years, and then you want it to go away right away, but it's going to take years and years and years doing this stuff for the rest of your life to truly uh, rid that. But moving is medicine. Uh, going to the doctor, getting all the pain pills, the, the Tylenol, the ice, that all that junk is just Band-Aids. It's not actually going to help you. Uh, moving is. It's going to help you feel better. Eating better is. Sleeping is going to help you uh, become an athlete for life. But it's it's whether it's doing it to help so you can play with the kids or just go out and play basketball or pickleball or do sports and do that stuff for life and do things that your friends are still doing. Uh, and you see them and you're like, oh, I wish I could do that, but I'm just too fat and too lazy and aches and pains and have no energy. No, that's your fault because you've done that forever. And I was there too. I did that throughout college, destroying my body, doing all this stupid stuff. And then you finally get that wake-up call when you're always injured, you're always hurt doing sports or whatever it is, or struggling to go up the stairs or seeing almost 200 pounds on the scale. Boom, something finally clicks that you got to change. And whatever that is for you, hopefully it hits you sooner rather than later. We all change at our own time. We all are ready at different times. But hopefully, again, that is sooner rather than later. And the sooner you start, the sooner you start feeling better, the sooner you start getting athletic again and maybe it is watching the Super Bowl or watching a, a NBA game or whatever here this winter that kind of think oh I wish I could still do that stuff and the fact is yeah you maybe may not jump 40 inches or run a 4 3 40 
but you can still go sprint. You can still learn to get faster. You can still jump a little bit so you can be able to do the things. Go play pickup hoops on the weekend. Go uh, play pickleball. Go chase the kids around the park. Um, heck, even do the things in life. Everyday tasks will get a lot easier. Uh, walking up the stairs without grabbing on a railing or bending down to tie your shoe without worrying about blowing out your back. Or because life throws a lot of weird things at us. We're stuck in different positions when it's icy out and you slip on the ice. I know I've, a few weeks ago when we had the, weird, the ice and slipping and you kind of catch yourself in the splits. Whereas a lot of people who don't do anything, they'll just fly onto the ground and then end up getting hurt. And we don't want that. Or it's moving some furniture or picking something up off a weird angle. Um, t- picking up and carrying your kids. Uh, all this different stuff. There's life throws all these different weird odd movements at us and your body's got to pre- be prepared. Just like in sports when you're an athlete, you, you should be training to have your body prepare for different movements, different um, impacts, different intensities, different all this stuff. Movement that's going to, you're throwing a baseball, that's violent. So you should train to be violent movements with your arms and, and body and everything. Just like in 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 real life, stuff happens. Weird, we get stuck in weird movement patterns, different things you didn't realize, awkward ranges of motion, things like that, that you can't get to because you don't train for it. You don't prepare your body for it. That's really what you should be doing. And that's what training like an athlete is. That's what we do here at TAG. No matter your, if you're a 12, 13, 14 year old kid or a 50, 60 uh, year old person in your 30s, in your 40s, whatever it is, we meet you where you're at. And that's the thing. Be realistic with where you're at. Set goals that are you might think are unreachable at the moment, uh, but we can go get them. We can chase them. Set unrealistic goals, but be realistic where you're at. Be um, quick to jump and take action, but be patient in the process and the journey. Stop living for the outcomes and start living for that journey and building and bettering yourself each day, knowing that that's not going to happen. You can't give 110% because that doesn't exist. There's no such thing as giving 110%. But give it what you got each day, knowing you put your best effort in rather than, oh, I'm just sitting around being a lazy turd all my life and then wondering what what if? What if I could just still so be stuck living in that past, daydreaming about the, the glory days? When the glory days should be right now, should be the rest of your life, still being able to do all the things you want, play with the kids, play with the grandkids, play sports on the weekends, um, do athletic stuff. And that's why training like an athlete is. And, and again, the things that make you train like an athlete are athletic things. So... I said before, so sprinting, there's nothing more athletic than, than sprinting. And that's sprinting in straight lines, sprinting in zigzag lines, curves, back and forth, all different directions, forward, backward. You're going to be sprinting side to side. Uh, that's really what it's about, moving and cutting and juking. There's nothing more athletic than that. Jumping, low intensity jumps, plyometrics where you're like rapid fire and then or then this max effort jumps where you're trying to jump as high as you can uh trying to jump as far as you can broad jumps single leg one leg side to side again every range every motion and just having a variety of movements because that's what life is that's what sports are those are a variety of movements uh crawling rolling tumbling doing somersaults man i mean as you get older do somersaults do cartwheels who cares what you look like? We all start. I suck at somersaults, or I suck at cartwheels. I'm good at somersaults. Um, I suck at cartwheels, but I've been doing them. I suck at bending my back, but I've been doing it. Back, spine mobility, all these different things that I was doing too much powerlifting crap for years. I was doing bodybuilding type crap for years, and that stuff gets you nowhere. Uh, it's just a, builds an unhealthy relationship with training and just beating up your body and destroying your body, and you can't move and you're spine so compressed the years of doing that now i'm trying to re uh configure that and rework and now actually moving my spine 
and trying to get that more mobile because your spine is meant to move. Um, so, and my back pain is rarely ever there. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes you get hurt. But again, um, a lift or a weird way of sleeping or whatever it is, a ache, a pain, a, a spasm happens because uh, I'm pretty sure I have a herniated disc in my back, but I think a lot of people do. But most people just use that as an excuse uh, that they can't do anything when my back has never felt better than it has over the last year or so because I've been prioritizing that. My arms, my knees, my hips all feel better because I do stuff about it because I start training like an athlete over the f- last few years. Injuries are way down. Yes, I get injured. Uh, tore a calf a few years ago, broke a toe last year. I Heck, I s- slammed a weight on my foot this morning. Um, doing drop catch dumbbell curls um so things happen but again when you're training like an athlete you recover you know how to do it and you don't stop that's the thing once you start again don't stop keep doing it keep moving and back to the movements the rolling the hanging climbing uh, go do monkey bars do stuff be a kid uh whether you're 35 like me 55 65 or 15 be a kid train like a kid that's what's going to get you the most bang for your buck. The the more athletic stuff. And then throw in the lifting. Throw in that stuff because that's going to help too. It's going to build strength, build power, build armor to help you get through it. But again, just because you get older doesn't mean you have to stop being athletic. And only can The only athletic things you do is curling a beer or getting up to, to huff and puff up the stairs to go grab another one from the fridge. That's no way to live life, just sitting back, dreaming, wondering. Because then you see the disappointment on your child's face when they want to do something with you. They want to go play catch, but you can't because your arm's too sore or your back is bad or you're just too fat to get off the couch and do it. You have no energy to do it. Take some responsibility for your health, for your wellness and well-being, uh, and do something about it. You can be athletic. You can do these things. You can run, jump, sprint, throw, crawl, lift into your late 80s, 90s, however long you live. You can do that. You should be doing that for the rest of your life. Uh, I don't care what people say. You should be doing that. If you don't want to do it, that's your choice. If you want to be out of shape, lazy, then you're probably not going to watch this. You probably already stopped watching this because, again, this is a choice. Be a healthy role model for your family, for your kids, for yourself. Uh, So you can ultimately live the best life possible and be an athlete for life and stop blaming it on age and getting older because everyone's getting older. There is no way to reverse age. There is no fault in a youth. Yes, you can feel a lot better when you're doing these things, when you're eating good, when you're sleeping well, uh, when you're not worried about all the BS that goes on in the world and you're worried about what you can control. That's going to help you feel better, move better, look better. Um, I don't look good, but I look better than when I was younger. That's not saying much, though. Um, But um, so uh, do these things. Be an athlete for life. Stop letting age be the excuse. Uh, That's what I got for you today, guys. Hope you liked the video. Hope you check it out. Subscribe to my page. Like. Send me any comments. If you've got any questions, email me, trevor at tagpn.com, and we will talk to you again soon. Thanks, guys.